Hello everyone, it's Stray Faye here with another bonus video of Harvest Moon DS. Today we're doing another marriage thon of the Mineral Town Bachelorettes. Now it's a little sad. <laughs> um, with these bachelorettes, you can propose to them, have a wedding, but unfortunately you can't stay married to them. I believe after the credits you get booted back out to the title screen and you're forced to go back to whatever save that you had previously. So hopefully you didn't save after the proposal. <laughs> or else you'd be kinda kinda stuck. Um but yeah, it's it's truly disappointing. Um they allow you to stay married in the girl version with the bachelors. They actually made content like after the marriage cutscene. Which is great, but unfortunately the the boy virgin got kind of kimped out. So if you wanted to marry your favorite girl from Back to Nature slash Mineral Town, I guess 64 as well, using the same character models, um, yeah, you can go through the trouble of wooing them, but you can't stay married to them. Um, alright, to get married to them requires all the previous requirements. Of the other girls, you needed to get them to a red heart level, which is 60,000 love points, which is really hard to do because they're only here once a week, so enjoy sleeping a lot. We're like on year six right now. Because <laughs> you're only able to give them a gift once a week and then keep sleeping through the days to get to the next week. You need a big bed, obviously. We need to unlock 60 sprites uh, required for marriage because you need the harvest goddess to be saved. Um, you need to view all four other heart events, which you probably will be trying to do as much as possible for the bonus love points that those give. You need a blue feather, which we got from Karen. Karen's supermarket. That might be kind of silly, that yeah, we're gonna propose to Karen with, with her own blue feather that we purchased from her store, but yeah. And you also need, can't forget, you also need a copy of Friends of Mineral Town and a DS. Like an old-time DS to put the cartridge in alongside your DS cartridge so you can link the games together. Unless you're doing it on like an emulator, which I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it on an emulator. But yeah, it's a lot of work and there's only a little bit of a reward. <laughs> Alright, so shall we start? Um, I'm gonna try to do it in the order in which I showed the cutscenes in the Let's Play, so the first one could be Anne. Ta -da. She is here on Friday. Now Anne, in terms of difficulty, she's pretty easy. Um, you buy chocolate for her in the beginning, and then I think once you get access to a kitchen, and just like have access to animal products. You can make her cheese fondue, which is just bread, cheese, and a pot. And that's, yeah, that's just a really simple gift to give her. All right, Anne. Ta-da, here's the blue feather. <laughs> well, in any case, let's go to your place, Talon. The old time heart event music. Okay, show me. Alright, here it is. Are you really okay with a girl like me? <laughs> I, I don't know, man, Anne. You're a little bit violent. <laughs> a little bit of a hot redhead. But sure. I'm not at all girly. Thank you, I'm really happy. I'll go tell my dad. I also have to tell my mom in heaven. <laughs> Okay, that got that got a little bit deep fast. You want to come with me? Don't worry, leave it with me. I'll be back. I want to visit your mom's grave. That'd be kind of sweet. <laughs> like telling your mom that like, hey, I'm happy now. I'm getting married. One week later. Okay, I don't even have to go to sleep. It just, it just uh, does it for me. All the town's here. <laughs> Too bad we, d we don't get to see Doug offering up her daughter, uh, offering up his daughter, um, on her side, but Takakura is here to offer us up, I guess. It is my honor to preside over this wedding. 
And now I'll ask the bride. He promised to love him as long as you shall live. Yes, I do. Both have a sudden drawl. Wonderful. Well, I guess one good thing about the marriage happening immediately after the proposal, you can't save. Now I think about it, you're not able to save um, after the proposal, so you can't get just like soft locked out of progressing. That's good. And now I'll ask the groom. Do you promise to love Anna as long as you shall live? Yes. I'm so happy. I now pronounce you married. Talon, Talon! Ta-da! Congratulations, let me toll the wedding bells. And usually just credits. You still get credits, okay. I remember the credits are I'm pretty short. I'll just show them once and probably cut them out after afterwards. Alright, it's like the same type of marriage as the Valley Girls. No special characters pop up. That would have been cool to see Doug. <laughs> that would have made sense. And it's also a little sad that we didn't get to see Anne in her wedding dress. I know all the wedding dresses in like Mineral Town in like the previous games, like they're all gorgeous. <laughs> they all make the girls look so pretty, but we don't we don't get that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's taking us back to title. Do 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 that's reload. Okay, now I get to do the joy of sleeping to the appropriate day for the next girl, so... Well, it's spring out, I won't get any storms. So our next girl... I believe is Potpourri. Potpourri is another easy girl that we were able to woo. Um, just because she also likes chocolate. And then once you get some, like, chickens going and, like, cows set up and you got some animal products. Uh, you can make some omelet rice. That's a really good option for her. Her 800 point love gift. All right, so we made it to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Hi! Good morning, Talon! I am about to propose to you. <laughs> it is a duck festival. I don't have a duck. This is awkward. Alright, but bye. Um, <laughs> wait, come back. I have something to show you. He's gonna do the weird glitch that Ray does when he visits me in the morning. Alright, here is the blue feather. Oh, please, wait a moment. Let's go back to your house, Talon. Yeah, don't tell Rick or else he'll probably scream at me. Let's be all sneaky. Let's sneak past the boys' room. This is just fine. Show me, show me! Oh, boy. <laughs> I've seen these for sale at Karen's shop. I've always wanted to wear a wedding dress. Well, too bad. I love Forget-Me-Not Valley. I thought I'd live in the future. My dream came true. A response? Of course it's okay. Oh, this, that's kind of odd that Pope Ray is like, yeah, I'm gonna live here. <laughs> I'm gonna live here now. Like, no you won't. Game ends. I should go tell Mom and the others. I wonder if Rick will be mad. Probably. You want to come with me? Oh no, leave it to me. But I want to visit your mom. What about Lilia? She's gonna... <laughs> Gonna want to see your future husband. All right, a week later, same old scene. You could even put like Rick in here. <laughs> like Rick would 
At least Rick is programmed into the game. Like, you can just, like, add him to the wedding procession. No. <laughs> I mean, like, Lily is a different option because she's not, like, actually in the game. Can't talk to her, but come on. It's my honor to preside over this wedding. Alright, Thomas. Yay. And now I'll ask the bride. Do you promise to love him as long as you shall live? Yes, I do. Wonderful. And now I'll ask the groom. Do you promise to love Popery as long as you shall live? Yes. <laughs> Silent yes. <laughs> I'm happy. I now pronounce you married. Talon, Talon! Ta da! Congratulations, let me toll the wedding bells. Okay, we're back to being single. All right, who is our next bachelorette going to be? I think in terms of cutscenes we showed off, I think the next would be Karen. Uh, she is actually quite difficult. <laughs> uh, she took the longest to woo. Um, an easy gift would be Bamboo Shoot, gives you 500 love points. Um, you can gather those up in the spring and just kind of stockpile them. Um, eventually I kind of gave up with that and I just broke down and started making pizza. Pizza is her favorite gift. However, it does require tomatoes and onions to make the ketchup in the mixer. And then you need to bake, bake it in the oven with ketchup, cheese, and flour, which is not that, that bad. You just have to have like a small stockpile. Tomatoes and onions really. And I guess like at some point have a cow. So you, you could make the cheese and then the flour you could just buy. But yeah, Karen's like freshly at 60,000 love points because it took me so long with like the bamboo shoots for initially. But yeah, you could probably consider making pizza. Like just stockpile tomatoes and onions in the summer. All right, Karen, I'm going to give you back the blue feather that you sold me. Oh, wow. Let's go to your house, Talon. I... I'm so surprised. Sometimes you're daring. <laughs> Rick would probably also freak out <laughs> at this proposal. They do the same in my hometown. I heard about it from my mother long ago and dreamed of it. But now that it's for real, I'm kind of nervous. An answer? Yes, yes. I have to tell my father. He may cry. <laughs> oh, poor Jeff. You want to come with me? Not a good idea. Things could get complicated. Come on, man. <laughs> like how they all have excuses to like not let me go to Mineral Town. <laughs> Leave it to me. Like, don't, wouldn't like their parents want to see their future son-in-law? Like, nope, gotta keep it secret. <laughs> it's like the people of <laughs> Forget-Me-Not Valley are like pariahs, they can't even go to the next town. Anyway, a week later. <laughs> raining. I can't believe it's raining on our wedding day. Okay, that's kind of funny. It keeps the weather. It keeps the same day weather. Usually, they force sun, unlike other weddings. My honor to preside over this wedding. Oh, sorry, Karen. We got married in the rain. I'll not ask the bride. You promise to love him as long as you shall live. Yes, I do. Wonderful. And now I'll ask the groom. You pledge to love Karen as long as you shall live. Nod. <laughs> Silently. Let's be happy. 
I now pronounce him married. Yay. Talon, Talon! Ta-da! Congratulations, let me toll the wedding bells. We're back in the world. All right, who's the next girl we're gonna marry? Uh, we have two more bachelorettes left. Ellie and Mary are kind of difficult, <laughs> considering their heart of it requirements. So I would consider them kind of equal on the difficulty, just because of the amount of finagling that you need. Um, we'll do Ellie next. Um, she is. Pretty easy to woo. Um, for like an initial love item, you can just get her toy grass. Not toy grass, toy flowers. She loves a lot of flowers, but if you're starting off the spring, toy flowers work great. Um, and then her favorite gift just are moon dumplings. You just need, you just need like the dumpling powder, aka muffin mix, and a steamer, and you can make your favorite gift. Super easy. Which is Ellie. But yeah, just like getting over <laughs> the initial leap of her first heart event that requires you to pass out 50 times. A little annoying, but then like after that, you just keep activating them like super easily. Just depends on like weather and time. All right, here's the blue feather. What? Here? I know. Let's go to Talon's house. That, that's me. Well, the proposal events all take place in the same area. <laughs> I like I like the Valley Girl proposals because they take place in like their house and they actually talk to their family about this. Right, here is just fine. I think I'm ready. <laughs> You're happy with me? I would be pleased. I'm looking forward to this. Are you gonna even be able to be a nurse? <laughs> I guess you can still work with Dr. Hardy. It could work. Well, I'm gonna let people know that I'm getting married. My family will certainly be happy as well. I know, we should be able to see Ellen and Stu. You wanna come with me? No, just leave it to me. I'll go. Look at how all of them are just like, heck off. <laughs> you can't see my family. One week later. It's my honor to preside over this wedding. Yay. And now at last the bride. You promised to love him for as long as you shall live. Yes, I do. Wonderful. And now I'll ask the groom. You promise to love Ellie as long as you shall live. We'll be happy together. Mm -hmm. I now pronounce you married. Talon, Talon. Ta-da! Congratulations that we told the wedding bells. All right, now for the last one. I had to skip ahead to the next Monday because Duck Festival. So, last Goyle. Going to be Mary. Considered her probably the hardest difficulty bachelorette all of out of all these characters. Um, uh, all the Mineral Town girls, rather. There's there's harder ones <laughs> if we're talking the special candidates. Um, but yeah, I, I consider her the hardest. Um, well, firstly, it's a little bit annoying that you have to wait until 8 a.m. to even like talk to her. At least with, like, the other girls, you could just instantly go to the inn, throw the item in their face, and then go to bed. <laughs> with Mary, 
Um, she spawns at Lumina's house at like 8 a.m. She just like somehow just magically appears. Her gifts aren't that bad. Um, her first love item is something easy. You could just buy like a stack of chocolate from the supermarket and that'll get you 500 love points um, each time she visits. And then once you gain access to a kitchen, have a pot, just buy your relaxed tea leaves from the Harvest Sprite Casino, and then just make her relaxed tea. And like this, it's the same love item as Lumina. You could like make two and give one to each girl if you want. Um, but yeah, she. It's difficult to gain access to early morning just because you have to wait around a bit, especially if you're in the mood of like sleep scumming. And her heart events are. <laughs> First one, not so bad. The blue one and the the purple and blue one are a little tricky because, like, the mushroom house, if you don't, if you aren't aware about any money glitches and you just try to get the mushroom house on your own, that's pretty expensive. <laughs> and then the fact that you have to, like, have the know-how to get a big crop and then trigger it on, like, trigger harvesting it on a, on a specific Monday that she's here. Um, yeah, it could get a little tricky, so here's Mary. A lady, here's here's a blue feather. What? Let's go somewhere else. This is just fine. You have something to say? You don't wanna show show off in front of Lumina? Marriage, right? When I was writing a novel, I just couldn't imagine the setting for a wedding. <laughs> It'll be a good experience. It's fine with me. I don't think Forget Me Not Valley weddings are they are not the same as anything else in the series. <laughs> You're like one of the few games, right? Like the Forget Me Not Valley setting where they don't have a traditional like wedding in a church with nice wedding clothes. You're just like you're just yourself in this town saying like, "Hey, we're hitched." We're gonna be living together now. I'll go tell my mom and dad. Oh, and I'll go along. I also like how she's, she's only getting married to us for the experience. Not that she loves us. <laughs> so now, it'll be interest, an interesting experience. Maybe if she gets bored, she'll just divorce us. Uh, you know, she'll go home alone, of course. Don't worry, they won't oppose our marriage. How dare they? They can't tell you what to do. What are they gonna do? Kick you out? You just come over here. One week later. It's my honor to preside over this wedding. And now I'll ask the bride. You promise to love him as long as you shall live. Yes, I do. Wonderful. Now I'll ask the groom. Do you promise to love Mary as long as you shall live? I'll be happy. I now pronounce you married. Talon, Talon. Ta-da! Congratulations, let me toll the wedding bells. Right, the last time we get to hear him. <laughs> this bonus episode. At least this bonus episode. It didn't take as long, because... I mean, the, the pro proposal events are pretty cookie-cutter. Like, oh, you want to marry me? I'm going to tell my family. You can't come. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were pretty much, they felt the same. Just like subtle hints to their family. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. It's, it's be one measly cutscene. Too bad they don't like, we don't get to give each other pet names. Which I guess made things significantly shorter. Yeah, too bad we can't have babies. We can't have babies with them. Alright. There's the credits for a second time. Alright, well, I guess I'll just end off things up here. 
I hope you enjoyed this bonus episode, and I hope you'll join me for the next one. Alright. Bye-bye.